Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16.4. Probably one of the last big updates to iOS 16 before we move on to the first betas of iOS 17. We know that iOS 16.5 is also coming after this, but that probably won't be as big on features and changes as iOS 16.4 is. This is packed with features and it has more than 40 new features and changes. But what are some of the best of those features, the top 10 that you should be eyeing on and of course waiting for those because they will make a change on the way you use your iPhone. Here are the top 10 features that you can expect to see with the release of iOS 16.4. Now before we get into the features, let's just quickly talk about the release date of iOS 16.4 to the public. So as you probably know, currently we're on beta 3 and it looks like Apple has slowed down on new features and changes compared to the first two betas. We had just a few new features and changes and it looks now from now on we just will have improvements on performance, battery and of course security as well. So according to a report by Mark Grumman, we should see the release of iOS 16.4 in April. So as I said, we're currently right here on beta 3, which was released on the 7th. And I can expect Apple to actually release another two betas, beta 4 and beta 5 as well. As you can see, Apple has moved to a one week schedule on releasing betas for iOS 16.4. Then probably by the end of March, we should see the RC version of this update being released. And I'm expecting it to actually be released in the first week of April basically taking a look at this schedule, what Apple is doing and the one week schedule that they're releasing the betas, I would actually expect Apple to release the iOS 16.4 to the public on the first week of April, at least on the second. So the first half of April should be the time when this update will go out to the public. So now that we have an idea of when can we expect this update to be released to the public, let's take a look at the top 10 coolest and most useful features that you will see with this update. First of all, under general, you go to software update and now you will have the chance here to easily update to betas. Of course, you can update from here to developer beta or to public beta based of course on what you have on your account. If you have an account enrolled in the beta program, which by the way is a paid program, then you can actually update to dev beta simply by selecting it here without having to actually install a profile on your device. Profiles will no longer work starting with iOS 16.4. So the only way to update to a dev will be using a dev account or you can wait for the public beta. All you have to do here to get the update is just select the program you want to use. And when the update is out, it will show here. Now, the cool thing that Apple has done with beta three is that you can use the dev ID here without having to change the Apple ID of your device. So in this case, I've done that. So I have a different Apple ID for my device, though I don't want to change to my dev ID just to get these updates because that of course will change everything on my device. I just want to keep that, but still will, will be able to use my dev ID to update. So all I have to do is just tap here and tap on use a different ID and I can enter my ID here, my dev ID, which will only work for updates here. So it won't impact anything else on the device. Another great addition to iOS 16.4 is a feature that Apple has added under accessibility and then motion. You will have here a new option to dim flashing light. So you can see right here, the description, it says that video content with repeated flashing lights will be automatically dimmed. So when you have a video watching a video and there are flashing light, repeated flashing lights on that video, it will automatically dim those. So of course it will be way better for your eyes as long as of course you have it enabled under settings. Now with iOS 16.4, Apple has made it way easier for you to add bookmarks to your home screen because now you can add those even from third party apps. So if you use something like Google Chrome, for example, you can actually add bookmarks to your home screen. Of course, as long as the app is updated and supports that to your home screen directly here without having to actually use Safari. So previously you could only do that from Safari. Now you will be able to do that from third party apps as well. Of course, apps need to be updated to support that feature. 
probably will be very very soon as long as of course as soon as ios 16.4 gets released to the public another great feature when it comes to home screen bookmarks is that now you can open them on your default apps so if i add a bookmark from safari like i did here now if i have a different default app for browsing like i have here chrome so i have chrome enabled previously what it would do is that when you add a home a home screen bookmark from safari you tap to open it it would open always on safari even though you have a different default browser now when i tap on it you can see it actually opens it on chrome there are a lot of changes on the tips app as well this is the default app that you get on your iphone from apple and what i like about it a great new feature is the ability to have access to user guides right here now you can see how it actually works it will show you user guides based on the devices that you have so i can go to guides for iphone or apple watch or whatever device i have and of course take a look at all the guides from here that's really really cool if you want to know anything about any of your devices you will find now a listed guide here right at the bottom of the home page of the tips app the shortcuts app on ios 16.4 has gotten a lot of really useful actions and of course some other changes as well and one of them that i really like is the ability to change the icon for when you're adding an app to your home screen so if i just choose here to add an app to my home screen so let's just pick amazon right here i can tap on the icon and of course i can choose here the default icon of amazon or i can pick right there a custom icon and of course customize it from here so you will have the ability to customize anything you want here with all the different symbols that we have and of course once you have done all that you can go ahead and add to home screen but you actually get to pick which icon you want to display on your home screen one of the coolest and most useful new features of ios 16.4 is the ability to get notifications for web apps and also badges on the home screen so when you have a web app on your home screen even though it's a web it will still display badges on the icon on the home screen you can enable the notifications currently they can be found right here under safari and if you go here to advanced experimental features you will actually find notifications here i don't know why they are still here and they actually disabled by default but you can enable them here and you can get now notifications and also badges for your web app with iOS 16.4, Apple has made it very easy for you to view the coverage of all your devices. So you head on to settings, general, and then when you go to about here and you go to coverage, you won't only see your current device, but you will also see your other devices as well. So if you want to view the coverage, you don't have to run to all of your devices. You will have all of them in one place, which will make your life way easier. And as you can see right now, they have actually even updated the icon. So they used to be like glyphs here, and now they have actual images of the devices. And whenever you need to use personalized audio, that can easily be found now with iOS 16.4 under sounds and haptics. You go there and they will have personalized spatial audio. If you use it, it will be here. Don't have to dig around on the settings app under accessibility to actually find it. All you have to do is just from the home page of settings, go right here to sounds and haptics and you will have it at the top of the page. And if you actually use Apple Wallet, then you will have an easy way to track your orders. With iOS 16.4, Apple has added the orders widget for the home screen, and you will have all three different sizes, so any orders that you have active will be displayed on the home screen of your iOS 16.4 device. So that is it for this video, guys. These are the top 10 and coolest features that you can expect to see with the release of iOS 16.4. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and leave a like if you did. Of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and I will see you on the next one.